Hey guys, it's Hunter. Welcome back to another behind the scenes unboxing vlog. These are kind of my favorite videos to do right now. Unboxing new gear with you guys, getting first impressions, giving you guys a sneak peek about what's coming up on the channel at Super Chill. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, right now I'm going through a big tube amp nerd phase. I'm really enjoying exploring all these big, loud, noise-making tools that have different tones and different responses. Like we just found out what a hidden gem the Hughes and Kettner Triumph Mark II is on the used market heard how colossal the Victory Super Kraken sounds, especially paired with the baritone. I've got demos of the EVH 5153 Stealth, PRS Archon, and Silver Jubilee currently in editing. We have not been short on amp content lately. And, uh, well. All right, so this beefy box just got dropped off. You know, I'm usually a petrol guy, but today we're burning diesel. I'm so fucking sorry. Here's a hint. If you're an Alter Bridge fan like me, you might already know what's inside. So I've not tried one of these amps. I've only heard them. And when the FedEx person dropped the box off, they were like, careful, this is a heavy one. They had no idea just how right they were. Koshi is completely unimpressed with my lame jokes. Even I'm ashamed. Box looks in pretty good condition. Let's go ahead, open it up. Wow, I have no idea why, but this feels like the heaviest amp that I've unboxed. Specs say that this is 56 pounds, same as the EVH 5153, but I don't know, man, this was a chonky boy. So this is a Diesel Herbert Mark III. As I said, I've never played a diesel amp before, but this is the latest iteration of the Herbert. I've always wanted to try diesel though, because Metallica and Alter Bridge, two of my favorite bands of all time, they both use diesel. And especially in the case of Alter Bridge, Miles Kennedy uses this Herbert. He said it's the only amp that cuts through the absolute wall of sound that is Mark Tremonti's rhythm tone. So that's what sold me on the Herbert in particular. Also, it looks really fucking cool. Actually, you know what? Let's plug in a speaker load and see how it lights up. 12 seconds later. Whoa, that's cool as shit. Oh my God, that is so clean. I don't know if you can see that, but there are like a billion tubes in here. And that's because this absolute monster is 180 watts. This is a big German PPM. I know the phrasing was weird, roll with it. 180 watts, that's so much friggin' headroom. I'm gonna guess that this thing has stupid amounts of low end. This is like the most amount of Sweetwater candy I've seen in one box. That's the Sweetwater formula. You get one pack per 45 watts. Inside the box, it just comes with a sticker. Totally misread that at first as guitar amplificator. No foot switch, which, um, why? It's a very expensive amp to not include a foot switch. Maybe because it's MIDI controllable and you can just do it that way? I don't know, with so many channels, a foot switch would have been nice, but I do like how they haven't used any foam or styrofoam. Unlike every other amp that I've unboxed, all the packaging in this one is recyclable and I really appreciate that. So I was talking to PRS about setting up a demo of the Miles Kennedy signature and then I saw Sweetwater had a demo diesel in stock and I was like, please. Can we do this? So I owe Sweetwater like a billion pieces of content. You know what? Let's go ahead, plug this in, and see whether it was worth it. Okay, so I've heard that channel two in the plus mode is where the magic happens with these amps, so that's where we're gonna start. Everything is set to noon across the board, and here's what it sounds like. <laughs> that is such a fat sounding amp. Okay, so I've just done a little bit of dialing in for taste. Wow, so uh, it's super interesting because it's such a huge sound, but at the same time, the response feels really tight. It's got that modern high fidelity quality to it. I'm surprised they haven't put a noise gate on this. But if that's channel two, what does channel three sound like? <laughs> I 
I think I figured out why it's so heavy as well. I took off the back plate and the transformers are fucking enormous. So it's just this massive sound. <laughs> Try boosted real quick with the trusty old Horizon device's precision drive, which as an added bonus for this amp has a noise gate. Okay, so a couple of fun facts about the Herbert, or at least I think they're fun. One, the amp has a very uh, interesting name for such a big, chonky, modern metal amp. Herbert definitely doesn't sound like a boutique, fire-breathing amp. But Peter Diesel said that his father had a super loud, boomy voice. And so when he made this loud-ass monster, he named it Herbert after his dad. Super wholesome. And two, the Herbert came around kind of because of corn. Among the amps they were playing were diesel VH4s. And the VH4 is an 100 watt monster in its own right, same one James Hetfield is sometimes known for using, but it just didn't have enough headroom for seven string new metal riffage. You know, when you run out of headroom, it starts getting real flubby in the low end. That's the original distortion, you know, that two breakup. So the second amp that diesel ever made was the original Herbert with 180 watts. And because it had had so much headroom, the idea is you'll never be overloading that power section. And so you get this super clean, clear, and tight response, especially in that low end. This particular one is loaded with a ridiculous six EL34s, but you can also put six L6s in there, 6550s, KT88s, so technically you can get up to 200 watts. And you can also mix tubes as long as they're matching pairs for a real interesting texture tone. But as I said, this thing was built specifically with extended range in mind. So let's plug in a baritone. Okay, so uh, yeah, this amp chugs, this amp chugs hard. That'll do it for this real quick behind the scenes unboxing. I'm absolutely blown away. I was not prepared for exactly how much I like this amp. I'm also quickly realizing how much of a bougie German amp stand I'm becoming, but we move. Massive shout out to my amazing patrons for supporting the channel. Their names are up on the screen right now. Consider joining them if you like what I do for bonus extras. You can also bookmark my affiliate links if you're picking something up from Sweetwater Tome and a Reverb. That actually really helps out. Obviously, a link to more details about the diesel will be down below. Make sure you're subscribed for the full video. That way you don't miss it. Social media, merch, and Discord server links are in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. You've been awesome, and I will see you for the next video.